Hi everyone, I'm Paul with Madcap Software. Welcome to this first video in this 10 part video series on learning and development in Madcap Flare. Now, if you happen to watch the what's new video for Flare 2021 R2, where this feature is introduced, uh, what I'm seeing in this video might sound familiar. You're like, I, th this sounds really familiar. I think I've heard this before. You have. This is basically going to repeat that I'm laying the foundation for this feature in this video. So if you happen to watch that video, you can just skip to the next video. Otherwise, keep watching. So yeah, we're talking about online courses, e-learning, uh, learning and development, learning management systems. You're gonna hear all these terms. It's all kind of part of the same space. So lots of different people can actually use this feature in Madcap Flare. It's, just, it's not just for one, one group. Uh, of course, instructional designers, people who work in training departments, you need to create online courses uh, for learners. And uh, this is what this feature is for. But other people could use it too. Um, maybe HR, somebody in HR could create a course. You don't have to be a technical wizard to use this. It's actually really, really simple to get going. Uh, tech writers could also use it. Maybe you're a tech writer and not only do you have to write help systems, but they want you to write training materials too. You can use this as well. So uh, this feature uh, lets you create a few different kinds of courses in a broad sense. There are knowledge checks. So you have a course, people are running along, uh, following the information, and then boom, there's some questions. They got to ask, they got to answer those, submit. So you just kind of, they're just kind of gauging their knowledge level at that point. Then there are gradable quizzes or tests, right? And those are usually at the end and people will be graded and they're going to see results. They're going to see, did you pass? Did you fail? What was your score? Um, what answer did you give? What was the right answer? That sort of thing. And then the third kind of course is simply just a combination of these. Um, so you could have a course that has knowledge checks, maybe periodically, and then you get to the end and there's a quiz. <clears throat> so you can do that. Now, of course, the heart of this feature are these question sections. So questions and possible answers, and they can be multiple choice or multiple response, and you can give them, you can have uh, instantaneous feedback or not. So there are lots of, lots of options. And uh, in the rest of this video series, we're gonna get in and we're gonna see the details of this, how to put it together, what it all looks like. And the other really cool thing about this is that you can integrate your courses with external LMS systems. So you need to, maybe you need to track, you need to track your knowledge checks and you track your, your courses. And so what Flare lets you do is you generate the output. There's an, uh, a zip file, you upload that, boom, you got it. All right. Now, why Flare? Because there are lots of tools out there. There are lots of uh, uh, e-learning tools that let you create courses. And I know some are really, really great, let you do some cool things. Well, there are a couple of big advantages with Flare. Uh, Flare not only lets you create the courses, these features that I'm talking about, but there are a couple of things that uh, Flare makes uh, much makes it makes life much better. One of them is single sourcing, so content reuse. That can be a pain point for people creating courses. You got content that du is duplicated. It, it's the same, you know, maybe in different parts of the same course or in other courses, or you know, maybe you can even um, you might have content that is in different projects that you, you, you just wanna be able to leverage to use that. Well, Flare lets you, that's what Flare is known for, is content reuse. So you shouldn't have to be copying and pasting everywhere because you're just gonna to have to maintain all these different sources. And that's gonna to lead to inconsistency and mistakes and you know wasted time. So Flare lets you single source, reuse your content really well. The other thing is Flare, is highly customizable. So uh, the architecture is wide open. There are these um, you know, universal standard file types and you can customize how your content's structured, how it looks, how it feels, all of that. So those are a couple of really good reasons um, to be using 
flair to create your online courses. So this video right here, where this is just sort of an introduction. This is what it's about. This is going to be followed by nine other videos where we're going to get into creating the project and, and creating the e-learning content and working with skins and styles and things like that. So you got your navigation and uh, we're gonna, we'll look at single sourcing, how that works and creating PDF output because I know that most people, it may be just a, an online thing. You just want the online courses, but some people might want print outputs, maybe a teacher version and a student version, some with answers, some without answers. And we're going to look at how that is done. Uh, and we will take a look at, you know, just building and, and getting the, the, the course into the hands of your users and integrating, integrating it with an external LMS. So we've got lots of stuff ahead of us. But before I say goodbye in this video, just one quick thing. We do have a few other resources. Uh, so we have some tutorials, which would be really, really good for you to work through. Now, some of the content in those tutorials, it, it's going to sound repetitive from what's in these videos because it's going to cover the same ground. But there are some things in the tutorials that are different, some things in the video that might be different. And it's a different experience because with the videos, you're just watching. With the tutorials, you're actually opening up Flare and you're working through it. Let me take just a moment to show you where these are. Okay, so you open up the Flare online help system. And uh, when you installed um, Madcap Flare, it might be installed locally, depending on your selection. But we also have a server version, which is at help.madcapsoftware.com. And uh, when you open it up, you just come over on the left, there's tutorials. And you see there's lots of tutorials in here. Well, we got a couple that are for e-learning, e-learning tutorial basic and advanced. And you just open those up, follow the directions. You're gonna be working through these Flare projects. And, um, and in the end, you're, you're gonna have uh, the final result. So the difference between these is basic is going to uh, guide you through creating a project based on one of our e-learning project templates. So there's stuff in there already. It's all ready to go. You could build output right away and you're good. But then it's going to take you through, all right, but you don't want to just use the placeholder uh, content. You want to swap it out with your own content. You want your own uh, logo. You want your own colors, that sort of thing. It's going to take you through that. But you're going to see how you can be <laughs> up and running in no time at all. The other tutorial is advanced, and that is going to uh, guide you through creating a project, but you're going to be using um, another project template that's not set up for e-learning. So you go through the, the steps, you know, from scratch, creating an e-learning course. And the benefit of this is you're going to really get in to see the nuts and bolts of what all the settings are. Plus, we're going to go in and do some things like uh, show you how the single sourcing works and the PDF output, um, all of that stuff. So I would highly recommend that in addition to the videos, you go through the uh, e-learning tutorials. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this short video. We just wanna lay the foundation. Now let's get going. At the end of this video, there is, uh, go to the very, 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 very end, and you're gonna see a link to a playlist. That's the playlist for all the learning and development videos. And you just click on that and you can just work through the rest of them. The next video in this series, we're gonna get in and talk about creating the project and we're off from there. All right, so uh, we'll talk to you next time in the next video.